Hey guys, welcome back to this place. And if you are new, then welcome here for the very first time. I'm Carmen. I'm Calvin. And we are watching Avatar The Last Airbender, season one, episode 20. This is the, the last- finale. Yes. This is the last time that I will get to say we are watching season one because it's gonna be over. Well, technically you shouldn't have been saying season. Okay, we're not starting this again. Because it's technically called book. No. Nope. Chapter. No. Nope. So the whole time that you've been doing this, you shouldn't have been saying that anyway. So I doubt that it's going to be the last time that you say season one anyway. You're probably going to do the next episode and you're like, okay, guys, we're season one, episode one. Wait, I think it's season two. That's probably what's going to happen. <laughs> do you see what I have to deal with every day of my life? Anyway. You chose to marry me. It works the other way, too. No regrets. Ragrets. Anyway. Rugrats. <laughs> no regrets right now. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. We are about to get into it. In the last episode, we had Zuko make off with... <laughs> what? <laughs> he just made off with him. <laughs> he did. He made off with Aang. Because Aang is in the spirit world and can't really defend himself right now. Katara tried her best, but then the sun rose. Zuko mm -hmm. takes his power from the sun. It's a whole thing. We discussed it in the last one. And Which, if you haven't seen that, yeah. the fuck are you doing here now? Yeah, watch that Just one. Just cherry picking your favorite episodes? Last episode was her favorite. It was my favorite so far. So what, what are you going to say about that? <laughs> I really liked Great Divide. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Anyway, we also have Sokka taking care of Princess Yue. We have the Water Tribe's plan to infiltrate the Fire Nation. We have, or at least the soldiers. What are you doing? Stop it. We have <laughs> Uncle Iroh gonna stab Xiao in the back. Here's to hope. Like, I don't think it's gonna happen, but here's to hope. <laughs> And that's it for the recap. Y'all know where we are. So let's just see where we're going from here. Oh no. Water. Fish shot. Ice shelf. Mm -hmm. The ocean and the moon are ancient spirits. They crossed over from the spirit world to the mortal world very near the beginning. Oh. There is only one spirit I know of who is old enough to remember. The spirit's name is Ko, but he is Ko? very dangerous. Mm -hmm. They call him the Face Stealer. The Face Stealer? When you speak with him, you must be very that doesn't careful sound good. to show no emotion at all, not the slightest expression. Or he will steal your face. What? Why? He's the face stealer. What the point of that? You're like my sister. Everything always sister. became easy to her. She's Maybe she's the one that was savage. happy that he was. And everyone hurt. adores her. My father says she was born lucky. He says I was lucky to be born. Oh my. Why is his dad such a dick? The identity of the moon spirit's mortal form. What? I was a young lieutenant serving under General Shu in How the Earth Kingdom. No shit. I discovered a hidden library, underground, in fact. I knew then that these spirits could be found and killed, and that it was my destiny to do so. Oh my now, god. The spirits are not to be trifled with. Why are you, you so spirits? evil? I know you fear the spirits, Iroh. He respects them. I've heard rumors about your journey into the spirit world. Show, Show no, no fear. fear. Show no, no emotion, emotion at all. Yeah. Does he steal everybody else's faces? Because he doesn't have one of his own. Ugh, is that a spider? I fucking hate spiders. I'm scared. There's gonna be no scare. Okay. Oh, oh no. It, it still scared me. <laughs> you wouldn't have a face. Thank you. My old friend, the Avatar. It's like a spider it's been mind a long thing. Time. How could I forget you? One of your previous incarnations tried to slay me. <laughs> of course, that's all behind us. Why should I hold a grudge against you for something in a past life? 
They're not gonna die in this blizzard. If we know anything, it's that Zuko never gives up. They'll survive, and we'll find them. That's true. It's been a long time. This thing is creepy as fuck. Space to my collection. I need to find the moon and the ocean. Their mm, spirit Jesus. names are Twee and La. Twee La? and Pull. Twee and La. That has been the nature of the relationship for all Moon time. and ocean. Oh, is that the yin yang fish? An entire culture could be destroyed if I don't get their help. Oh, you think you need their help. Actually, it's quite the other way around. Yeah. Someone is going to kill them. Your moon and ocean have always circled each other in an eternal dance. They balance each other. Did the fish. Yin and yang. No, don't make an expression. That was right. The koi fish. No, make an expression. I must. <laughs> Stressing me out. We'll meet again. Yeah. Do you think you could do that? No. <laughs> Not for a second. Oh, hey the panda! The panda! Hey bye. Hey bye. Oh, moon's coming. Y'all about to get fucked. Oh, oh that's fine. We'll be following this map to a very special location. And when we get there, we're going fishing. That is too cheesy of a joke. <laughs> that won't be enough to escape. Alpha. Here for a rematch? Um, she Trust got the full Zuko. moon, huh? It's not gonna be much of a match. She got the full this moon. Is some quality rope. We need to get to the <laughs> oasis. Spirits are in trouble. Wait, we can't just leave him here. Sure we can. Let's go. No. Y'all could be friends. <gasps> Stop it. Ew. Look what he's doing. I fucking hate him. I hate him so much. Mm -hmm. Like the hatred I have for him is great. Why is everything turning red? This is not good. Spirits are angry. Oh, there's no balance now. I owe the moon spirit my life. What do you mean? When I was born, I was very sick and very weak. Most babies cry when they're born, but I was born as if I were asleep. My mm. eyes closed. Oh, yeah, that's not good. Our healers did everything they could. My father pleaded with the spirits. Is that to why her hair's me. white? That night, beneath the Whatever they moon, did. He brought me to the oasis and placed me in the pond. My dark hair turned white. Mm. I opened my eyes and began to cry. Aww. And they knew I would live. Maybe she has part of the moon spirit in her too, then. About the great Zhao who darkened the moon. They will call me Zhao the Conqueror. <sighs> Zhao the Moon Slayer. The Invincible! Oh my god. Get it off. Get it off. <laughs> destiny to destroy the moon and the it's water not tribe. you fucking destroying idiot destroying the moon won't hurt just the water tribe it will hurt everyone including you without the moon balance everything would fall out of balance you have no idea what kind of chaos that would unleash on the world the fire nation needs the moon too we all depend on the balance mm-hmm Whatever you do to that spirit, I'll unleash on you tenfold. Let it go now. Damn. Can we kill him? Like I like honestly have like fuck you. Maybe she can save the, the fish like it saved her. You eh? Maybe? There's no hope now. It's over. No, it's, it's not, not over. What 
the fuck? Forgot about you go. Uh, yep. You tried to have me killed. You should have chosen to accept your failure. Your disgrace. Why don't you choose to accept your failure? You have been touched by the moon spirit. Yeah. Some of its life is in you. Mm -hmm. Yes. You're right. It gave me life. Maybe I can give it back. Well, I don't no. want her to die. You don't have to do that. It's my duty, Sokka. I won't let you. Your father told me to protect you. I have to do this. I don't want her to die. <sighs> no! She's gone. She's gone. What? She just died? <laughs> Kaiju. <gasps> what? Goodbye, Saka. I'll always be with you. This is sad to me. I didn't want her to die. Like I just thought she could save it. Like I didn't think that like it would kill her. We helped rebuild our sister <gasps> tribe. Really? What about Aang? That's so he cool. still needs to learn water bending. Well, then he better Good get used to calling you Master Katara. <laughs> I knew this day would come. Oh, you really? must be proud. So proud and sad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Iro is a traitor, and your brother Zuko is a failure. I have a task for you. So it was his sister. Mm -hmm. It does suck. Like about you, eh? Yeah, just the the tragedy of of her story. Yeah. And she was like, living on borrowed time. She was given life just long enough to like give her life, really, mm -hmm. which is quite sad. Um. I mean, I, it's better than not having any life at all, I guess, but... Yeah. I don't know. It was really sad. I felt really bad for Sokka in that moment, you know? Like, it's, like, his first, like, love. Like, I don't know if they were, like, in love yet, but, like, his first, like, you know, crush or real, like... Well, I mean, I guess he, he kind of liked um, the girl from Kiyoshi, the Warriors of Kiyoshi, right? Uh, Suki? Yeah. A little bit. But this is, like, the first, like almost relationship you know what I mean like not quite because they weren't really allowed but kind of and it's just really sad like it's sad mm -hmm. for her it's sad for him it's sad for her dad it's sad just for her in general you know like she doesn't get to live a life you know she doesn't get to get married to anybody or yeah do anything she just has to be a moon spirit and just to give back the life that she had borrowed from the moon spirit, you know? Yeah. Which, like, I thought, like, since the moon spirit was still alive and it gave her life, maybe she could give it life and still be alive. Like, I didn't think that it was going to take all of the life that she had, you know? No, yeah. So, that's really sad. And, like, fuck Zhao. Like, I hate him so much. Like, I hope he's dead. We didn't actually see him, like, die. He just went into the water, so, like... 
other shows have shown me that like I didn't see a dead body so I don't know if I can trust that he's actually dead you know mm -hmm. but like I really fucking hope he is because I just hate him like he literally was gonna destroy the entire world like you're a fucking idiot like yeah and even in the end like Zuko was offering him yeah. his hand to try and save him from whatever was happening he's too he full of like, pride mm, to nah. take it yeah he's like I don't no want, I don't want die. you I don't want to owe you a favor. Yeah. Like, I would rather die than, than, you know, let you help me. Yeah. It's just like, fuck off. Fuck you. Like, uh, I just hate him. I thought that the co, right? That's how you mm -hmm. say it. Co was, like, really creepy. Like, if I was a kid and I was watching this, I would be having nightmares, okay? Because that was freaky as fuck. Like, I don't like it now. <laughs> like. Yeah. There's no way that I would have been able to do it. Aang did and keep a straight face because it was just doing all these things to make him not keep a straight face one and like it's creepy it's it's like mm, i don't like it mm -hmm. <laughs> so would you have been able to keep a straight face mm -hmm. like i don't think i would have probably not i like that ang chose to uh save zuko you know, when they were just gonna, they were gonna leave him and, yeah. and Sokka didn't understand. They're like, well, no, like we can leave well, it's him. Well, it's the second time that Aang has elected yeah. to save him. Exactly. And I think that it's, it's who Aang is as a person, right? He's not going to walk away if he can help, you know, he's mm -hmm. not going to leave somebody to die if, if there's another option. And I think that Aang also, like he's had moments with Zuko, right? Like moments of bonding, like little ones, but still little moments and I think that he understands Zuko a little bit like not fully not to the extent that the audience understands him because obviously we know more than Aang knows but I think that he has some sort of sympathy for him mm -hmm. and again just as a person he's not gonna leave another person to die because that's just not who yeah. Aang is I really liked speaking of Zuko learning a little bit more about Zuko like he has a sister who's for some reason really happy when their dad did that because i guess she's like she seems evil like their dad you know like yeah in the little clip at the end we saw well from the little th things that zuko said in this episode while he was talking to unconscious ang it's like she was always the favored one you know she she was born lucky lucky he was lucky he to was be lucky born. to be born yeah um, so obviously she was raised in a way that was different to the way that uh, Zuko was raised mm -hmm. from their family. You know, she was raised like she was the second coming, basically, you know. Yeah. And, and he Zuko also said was raised like, was as a burden almost. Yeah. He also said like, you know, his sister was always, you know. Better. A prodigy. Yeah. She was better at firebending. Mm -hmm. She was, it just came naturally to her, like everything. And he had to work at it, which made his father more upset, I guess. Well, it made him stronger. Yeah. Well, it made him stronger, yeah. Because he had adversity. And, mm -hmm. you know, when you're somebody who has never faced adversity, like, what's the saying? Like, you'd never know how strong you are until being strong is the only choice you have. Yeah. Right? So, like, he, he had to be strong. Like, even when he was at home. Like, it's just... I don't know. Zuko's life is really sad because it's like even before he left the Fire Nation or was banished, rather, like his dad was just, you know, a John Winchester again, like I said in the last episode. He just like he was never good enough for him. Like he does. Zuko does give me a little bit of like Dean vibes sometimes, you know? Yeah. And it's like he was never good enough for his dad. He couldn't do the things that his sister could do. He couldn't. And he tried and he still like the thing that gets me is that Zuko's still trying to mm -hmm. impress his dad like his dad doesn't fucking deserve it like not at all like he doesn't deserve shit but Zuko because he's his dad and he still cares about him because he's his fucking dad you know he's still trying to impress him even though he has like the love and respect of Iroh already mm -hmm. without doing anything you know he still is a lost child trying to seek the approval and affection of his father, you know? Mm -hmm. It just makes me sad for him because I don't think he's ever going to get it. Like, I don't think that anything he could do would get it for him. I don't think if he showed up at the Fire Nation with Aang that his father would be, like, impressed. He would probably be like, hm, took you too long or took you long enough or, you know, something snarky and, like, yeah. 
actually. Like, I, that's the vibe that I get from his dad. And, like, he's calling Iroh a traitor. Like, bitch, no. Like, just because he actually, like, one, what would make him a traitor? Is it the fact that he turned against Zhao when Zhao was literally going to destroy the entire world because he's throwing it off balance? Like, that's not a traitor. <laughs> like, to understand that the world needs balance. Yeah, but they don't understand that. So they think that he was just going against Zhao for his own interests. I mean, literally everything turned red. Like, that's not a good thing. Like, red is a bad color well, in, like, indication. Everything turned red when he removed the moon spirit. But yeah. everything was black when he yeah, it was killed black and white. the moon spirit. It was black and white. Like, everything was bad. Like, you know. Like, it was... It he was, took all of the color out of the world. It was unbalanced before. Yeah. And then he just... He crushed the scales. Yeah. You know. At the end. It's just like a lack of understanding, I guess, of the way the world works. And I don't know. Ozai's annoying to me. I don't think I'm going to like Zuko's sister. Maybe they'll prove me wrong, but is she mm -hmm. older or younger? Well. We don't know that yet, right? No. Aang in this episode got like real angry. He like full on, would you say it wasn't Godzilla? It was... Uh, Godzilla is a kaiju. It just means, oh, okay. like, giant monster. Oh, okay. Because, like, in, I, in, I've in. never actually seen Godzilla. But I got Godzilla vibes, you know, from that. When he, like, like turned all into of, the giant water monster. All of the, like, Godzilla-like monsters, like... They're kaiju? Yeah. Okay. But, yeah, he, like... I was kind of worried about Aang a little bit, because he did do that. And I was like, oh, is he going to, like, go a little bit dark side? Is he, like... Well, I mean... Is he, like... You know, you know, taking a little turn towards not, not the, great. Uh, the spirit world was unbalanced, which, you know, the the mortal world was unbalanced as well. Mm -hmm. And since he is the channel between those, like he, he, was, was, he was a little bit unbalanced as yeah. well. Um, so I was wondering at first, because I was like, okay, so maybe it's like benders that can feel the un imbalance. But now it makes sense that UA and Aang mm -hmm. could feel the imbalance, whereas right. Katara, Katara didn't. Yeah. Because yeah. at first I was like, well, why does Katara not feel the unbalance either or mm -hmm. imbalance but now yeah. i get why it's because, because both ua and ang were directly connected to the spirit, to the spirit world yeah like at first like when they showed her parents like in the flash when she was talking about her parents and they both had black hair i was like well, where the hell did her like white hair come from like that doesn't mm -hmm. make sense and then so that's why like when they were talking about that i was like oh okay mm -hmm. i get it like because yeah this, the moon spirit it has to have been that obviously like she was thankful the time for the time that she got because like obviously she wasn't going to make it if if you know yeah the spirits had given even, her father that she wouldn't vision. have known anything yeah he wouldn't have tried that and she wouldn't have you know lived much longer i think it's sad though because well i mean sad in general but i was thinking her dad told um Sokka. Sokka to protect her probably knowing that he couldn't actually protect her, but he wanted <laughs> to give her as much time as he could, you know? And like, it's just sad. Mm -hmm. It's sad because like, I know that like, he knew it was coming, but like, can, I can't imagine like, you know, like you're a parent and like, this is your like child, you know? And like, you have to let this happen because like the world, needs it but like that's your child you know well do you think that he knew that it was probably going to happen tonight i don't think he knew it was so that night but i think that like maybe that's why he, he chose to not be there yeah because maybe he wouldn't have been able to to make let her make the sacrifice make the sacrifice yeah. that Sokka made or let her not let her because you know she's a person and she can make her own choices but and Sokka didn't really let her he was trying to stop her but let her make her own choices, I guess, in a way. Yeah. Did you notice in that, in that, um, sequence, like, after the, uh, the moon spirit was killed, the, the only two things that had color were, um, Aang's water spirit, mm -hmm. the... I noticed his water spirit had the blue color. And her eyes. Oh, was it her eyes? I didn't notice that. Only those two things had color through that whole sequence. Everything else was black and white. I noticed Aang's, the Aang's water well, spirit and, had the blue. And technically, I guess there were like lanterns and stuff on the Fire Nation ships that were like glowing red, but 
I did, yeah, I didn't, I didn't notice that. That's also so. because, like, everything was so imbalanced. Yeah. The moon is is thought to be, like, the oldest water bender. Yeah, because, that's what it was. Because of the push and pull of the tides. Yeah, that's what it was. And that's what I thought was, was cool. You know, yeah. I was like, I it was thought it was that, said. that benders originally learned their power through the moon. Yeah. You know? And yes. that's kind of how, like, you know, when, when you see them doing, like, the, the ebb and the flow, they kind of... It's like, like waves. Yeah, pushing it like, like the ocean. Yeah, thank you. I, I honestly, I was like, I remember that something happened that I thought was really cool. <laughs> something was said. It was interesting. <laughs> but, don't know what it was. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I was like, I don't remember, but I thought at the time, I was like, oh, that's really cool. I want to mention that, but yeah. then I couldn't remember what it was. But because the moon does affect the tides, you know, like in the world that we live in. So I don't know. I just thought that was kind of a really cool tie in how mm -hmm. like in their world, the moon was the first waterbender because it's... Mm -hmm. You know, controls the ocean in a way which is honestly it's a really cool thing like that's just a, a great piece of writing i think and i, mm -hmm. I appreciate the storytelling of that yeah. i also love like like little like poor little zuko thinking that he stood a chance against katara like on a full moon like hun, yeah take several seats like you're you're not doing shit <laughs> you know mm -hmm. especially because like now she officially has the title and i think she earned it she is a master of water bending, you mm -hmm. know, and like I love that like she's gonna teach Aang, you know, whereas before she was getting so frustrated when she wasn't like knowing it right away and Aang yeah. was like getting it because he's like intuitively kind of understands it, right? Whereas, but she has like a lot of skill, like a lot. Yeah. Well, she just I mean, wasn't that's... being taught the way to do it properly. That that was the whole thing, like you know, hard work pays off, and I think it was brought up in. Uh... The previous episode. Yeah, it was. Like versus yeah, skill. Like hard work does actually mean more than raw talent. And he looks over at mm. at Aang, Aang yeah. which raw talent, yeah, he can do a move in like one or two tries, but he doesn't like What is it? Like there's like a saying too. It's like hard he work apply himself. Hard work beats talent because talent doesn't work as hard. Mm -hmm. And I think that's that's kind of the perfect explanation for yeah. both of them. Because she, I think that she has a lot of raw, natural talent, but she's also determined to do it. And so she's working harder. Whereas Aang, and he, he does frustrate, frustrate me a little bit when he does things like in the last episode, you know, when mm -hmm. he's just, he's not applying himself as hard as he should be knowing what's coming, which like, we which, know what's coming, but so does he. <laughs> yeah. But we've had that theme in the past as well. Yeah. Like, especially when they got the water scroll. Yeah. From the pirates, like... He would do a move in like two or three tries and he would get bored with it. Yeah. And he'd be like, okay, I did it. Because it's like, not a challenge. What else can I do now? Yeah. yeah. But it's like, no, you need to to keep doing that because like and, uh, you have to keep working. And even with um, Master uh, Zhang Zhang. Zhang Zhang, yeah. The, uh, the firebender. Mm -hmm. Like he, he was so bored with the basics because he felt like, oh, this isn't, this isn't challenging me at all. Like, give me more, give me more. And. And he finally let him have a little bit, and he took it too far. Yeah. You know? Well, yeah, I think... He, he doesn't know his limits, and he's not disciplined enough to to stay within them. Yeah. You know? I think, like, we talked about it before, too, with, like, he has a bit of, like, the, the prodigy thing, right? Mm -hmm. You know, he's... He's always good at stuff, so he doesn't work hard to be good at stuff because he, he doesn't, doesn't work need hard to, to be better. Yeah, to be stuff. better because he doesn't need to, in his opinion. But like, he does because he's not perfecting it. He's not mastering it. He's mm -hmm. just good at it. But he can't just be good at stuff in order to beat Ozai. You know, mm -hmm. he's got to master it. And I think that. I mean, hopefully, obviously, it's a show. Like, he's a character. He's going to have a character arc. And I think that that's going to be part of his character arc going forward, hopefully, is, you know, learning that he needs to work harder. And hopefully that'll come as he gets a little bit older. Just because you're you're better than the person you're training beside doesn't mean that that person is the second best, you know, Yeah. at whatever you're doing. Yeah, just because you can defeat... Zhao, which actually Zuko did, but you know, just because you can defeat Zhao doesn't mean you can defeat Ozai. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like, which I mean, he kind of defeated Zhao. He used Zhao against himself, but yeah, you know, like there's a lot of people that are very powerful in the Fire Nation, and they want bad things for you. So 
Getting Speaking of angry. people in the Fire Nation that want bad things for you, Zuko's sister. Yeah, Zuko's sister wants bad things for, for a lot of people. I'm assuming she has like an evil smile. Like when she smiled, like that was like evil. <laughs> like it was like not like yay. It was like well, I, it's the I, same I kind of smile she like, made when we when were... he got knocked on his, like when he got knocked on his ass and like burnt the shit out of. Other side. Was it this one? Yeah. Okay. Got like burnt the shit out of. I would understand almost a little bit if their roles had been reversed growing up, right? If she had been the one that was always told that she wasn't as good as him. You could understand in that moment her taking a little bit of pleasure of seeing him like knocked on his ass. But that's not yeah. the case. So like. Well, I mean. You're just a bitch. Like, I don't know. Bullies always enjoy being on top, you know? Yeah. Like, I am interested to see, um, because I assume, obviously, Ozai is sending her after like, Iroh and Zuko, and so I'm interested to see their interactions next season, probably. Yeah. Like, is there anything else you want to say? I don't think so. I really, really like the show, and I'm interested to see where we're going to go from here. Mm -hmm. Do you think Han is still alive? I hope not. <laughs> Do you think Zhao is still alive? I hope not. Do you think... Did your neck just pop? Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you have stuck with us for the entire season and you will be back in season two because, you know, we're going to be here. We're going to be watching this. Like, what, what else you got to do? Well, actually, probably a lot. But, I mean, hey, you might be in lockdown or quarantine. Who knows? Maybe. That's all for season one, though. Uh, please let us know what you thought in the comments down below. We got lots of revelations, like Zuko has a sister, and that's who that was that was cheering on his defeat. We got some background info on that. We got new characters that we really, really liked and unfortunately are dead. We got characters like Zhao that we really, really don't like and hopefully are dead. We have lots of intrigue and interest going into the next season. So let us know what you thought about this one. And yeah, that's it. Until season two. Bye, guys.